Hi, welcome to another video. So, there's a new repo that I saw, and I found it actually quite good. And this one is called Open Deep Search. Now, this is actually a really good AI agent. It is a super powerful AI search agent that is designed for seamless integration with AI agents, streamlining the search process. It enables deep web search and retrieval, optimized for use with Hugging Face's Small Agents ecosystem. This makes it easier to integrate and use. Basically, from what I understand, it's a new AI agent that can do web searches, and you can integrate it into your own Python programs as well. It's almost like a library that you can use, and it's built on the Hugging Face Small Agents framework, which is kind of great because of its simplicity. It performs similarly to, or better than, closed source search alternatives on single hop queries. It performs better than, or similarly to things like GPT-4.0 search and stuff, which is quite impressive. It's not a very deep research thing. Instead, it's more focused on just basic search, and you can make it think hard and research hard, but that's optional. With access to the web, Open Deep Search performs similarly to counterparts such as Perplexity and GPT-4.0, which makes it quite good because you can easily integrate it with your own applications and stuff like that. The possibilities are endless. If we talk a bit about how it works, then it basically uses two models. One is the orchestrator or reasoning agent model, and the other one is the search model. So, you can configure whatever model that you want in each part. Like, the orchestrator can be Gemini 2.5 Pro, and the search can be Flash. Or you can also have both as the same model, depending on your needs. The query basically goes to the reasoning or orchestrator, which then gives things to search and summarize to the search agent, which can do web search, use a code interpreter, use a calculator, and also think, which is then given back to the orchestrator, which then gives the output back, which is kind of great as well. It's a very efficient process. It is based on Hugging Face's small agent, which actually has a Kodak agent that allows agents to basically write code to call tools, which is actually quite cool and very effective, allowing for more complex tasks. They also say that they use chain of code with it, which leverages the code writing capabilities of LLMs to generate and execute code, or pseudocode, to tackle both algorithmic and semantic problems. This approach not only broadens the scope of reasoning questions LLMs can address, but also enhances their accuracy in solving complex tasks. That is majorly everything about it in theory. But now, let's do some practical stuff as well and see how it works in action. To set it up, just come to the GitHub repo and then get it cloned locally. It's a pretty straightforward process. Once it has been cloned, you'll need to get the Serper API key. So just get it. It's free with some credits as well, which is always a plus. So just do that and set it as an environment variable as well. Then, you'll need to configure a re-ranking solution, which can be Gina or Quen 2.5 as a local option as well. You can just get a Gina API key for free and use that, so no need to worry about costs. Then, you can use whatever provider and model that you want to use. It supports light LLM, which means that it works with almost every provider, which is kind of great as well, and offers flexibility. I'll be using it with Gemini 2.5 Pro because I really like it, and it should be pretty cool to use with this. Also, you'll need to install the Python dependencies as well with these commands. So, do that as well accordingly. Make sure you follow the instructions. Now, you can integrate it into anything that you want, whether it be your own custom program or agentic workflow as well making it very versatile. Like, 
This basic program will do the search and everything, and then give you the result back as well, which is kind of great. It's a very useful tool. But there's also the demo option as well, which is a good way to test it out. This is basically a Gradio demo that we can use to test its capabilities accordingly, seeing how it performs. While running, you can set the orchestrator model, search model, and also the re-ranker accordingly, and use that as well, which is great. It gives you a lot of control. Now, this is what it looks like. You can just send in the prompt accordingly, and it will get working on that. So, let's ask it to tell me why XAI bought X, and tell me everything about it. Once we send it, you can see that it starts working on it. It shows you the stuff accordingly of what it is searching, and what Python code it is running to do the stuff. And as I said, that it uses the small agents by hugging face, which means that it calls tools with functions as code instead of calling it in a structured output, which I have seen to perform really well. So, that is kind of cool for sure for most of the stuff accordingly. The implementation is very effective. Anyway, we have the response here, and it gave the answer correctly, which is kind of cool. It's accurate and informative. I really liked how fast it is. I mean, I have seen things being slow, but in search, you generally don't want that. But this is really good. The speed is very impressive. I really like how well it performs for most of the tasks. It is really amazing for sure, and you can easily integrate it locally as well. It's a very powerful tool for local development. But let's try it with something else as well. I'm going to ask it to tell me about the Open Deep Search GitHub repo itself. Let's send it, and you can again see that it starts working on it. It is quite cool. If we wait a bit, then it's now done. And this looks pretty good. It did the research here kind of well, which is obviously quite amazing. It's great at researching specific topics. I really like this as it is a pretty simple library kind of thing to easily implement a good deep search thing to your applications. And it is really amazing for sure for most of the tasks as well. I really like how well it performs for most of the tasks that I use it for. It's very reliable. It works extremely well for everything. And it is for sure amazing for most of the tasks. The performance is consistently high. I really like it. And you can also change the system prompt or implement it into your own agentic workflows and everything like that. Let me know what you guys think about it. Please subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts in the comments as well. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.